that every day on your travels into your campsite, do you? How good's that? Certainly know that you're in cattle country when you start seeing all that going on. All the cows everywhere. Yeah. Alright, so we're just having a bit of an inspection. We're almost there. Oh, I've got about 30 k's to go, but I don't know, that, that road was shocking coming in. The last probably 60, 80 k's. Uh, yeah, pretty rough, even with tyres down and all that sort of stuff. Just I don't know if it's uh, just because we've had rain recently or just the roads are shocking, but anyway, I thought we'd just check the van out. I reckon we're going to have some damage, but let's see. for like two or three nights on each spot I reckon so next time and we'll also come early in the season next time yeah too. so, so it's a little bit weird. yeah we'll be super prepared next time Mark's trying to take the wrong track here what are we doing I think you need to go straight ahead girl it says beach the other way it says beach the other way yeah that's a long chicken run all right we'll go straight ahead anyway um so yeah we'll we I'm will lost without my navigator <laughs> we will make sure that we are super prepared next time and spend like a good two or three weeks up here. And maybe have a boat by then. And yeah, that'd be nice. But anyway, let's just get on with the day and see what we can find. Right, yeah. Got one of the gatekeepers out here this morning. One bonus of having kids. Gotta teach them to not lock themselves on the other side of the gate when they close it. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Oh, you're so super cool, too. I think he just likes to swing on the gate as it closes. Wrong side of the cart. <laughs> we didn't say it was quick, we just said it was handy. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <sighs> It's the only reason you like to go on the gate. Um, like to go. This is the only reason you like to go open the gate because you swing on it when you get when you finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. All right. Click in. Go. And we go. <laughs> the beach camp we have stopped at scary thing swamp but we can't really see anything scary in it 
There's We're some hoping big... for some buffalo or something, aren't we? Some pretty birds. There's nice, nice bird life around here. Whoa, sorry to interrupt you guys, but hey, we've got some good news for you. We've got some new merch out, which is some awesome stubby coolers. And some stickers. So if you want to grab a stubby cooler or stickers, just to help us out, because it really does help the channel, make sure you jump onto our Facebook page or Instagram page and uh, send us a message. They're really good. Oh, perfect. <laughs> anyway, back to what you were watching. Thanks, legends. So there's a bit of bird life around. You can see some egrets and some, I don't know what the rest of them are. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You can, it's like real swamp land. But unfortunately we can't see any buffalo. We're hoping to see some buffalo here. It's very pretty though. So, we haven't got any buffaloes or bulls here, and some kangaroos, so we might head back to the car, a little bit of water, a little swim. Nah, just joking. So, it was good. Now we're done. Just driving along the edge of the river up towards the, towards the beach camp, and it's beautiful. It's like a really bluey greeny colour. It's yeah. like quite clear the water. It's absolutely gorgeous. Lots of crocodiles in there though, so you're not going to go in there. Yeah, but recommended to swim in. <laughs> no, but there's lots of little camp spots along the river, so you can just snag one of those and camp right by the river here. It's sort of up on a bank, so you're not going to get eaten. Um, and just have those beautiful views of the river and great for fishing, I guess. So. It's a pretty cool little spot. And then yeah, we're just following this river right up, which is just gorgeous. So you don't want to drive out on that salt flat stuff. It, you're just going to get bogged. They're really not great for um, driving on at all. And with the fees of over $500 to get pulled out, you certainly don't want to be stuck out there. So just stay off. Alrighty, so we've made it all the way up to the Gulf, all the way to the beach. We were sort of at the um, mouth of one of the river inlets at the moment, and it's um, really barren. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit windy as well. Yeah, it's a bit windy here. I think the tide's out, quite low. But no, it's really cool. Yeah, it is very cool. To be at the tip or top of the yeah. Gulf, which is good. Yeah. Made it here. Very cool. So this is the one of the river camps up here. Um, you can see someone camped up over here and their boat is like right beached up over at the end of the creek part here. So no doubt they wait till um, low uh, high tide and then have to Take, take the boat out towards the ocean and down the big river if they want to, like down the inlet or to the ocean. It's not a bad little spot they've got. Still set up too. 
go out that way towards the ocean. Pretty cool. thing that goes in this side here that goes down to one of the big um, rivers down into the um, property and then out here is just all the gulf so it's the full access to the ocean and it's quite a cool little spot it'd be really interesting when it was um, at high tide as well so it would definitely be a bit fantastic place to um, base yourself for a while and just get like a good view of everything that happens when the tide changes huge tides up here by the look of it Pretty cool spot. Is that warm coming out of there? Yeah. Yeah. And right, that's better than the cold spring. Is it? Ari, watch out for Rick and the turn. Is it warm over there, Rick? I haven't went over there. Let me give it. So it comes out from this pipe here. And it runs down so you can fill up buckets of water and stuff from here. This is where you come to to check in and if you uh, go out on your adventures for the day check in and sign back out or sign out and sign back in when you come back so they know you're all safe they've got their own little uh, freshwater crocodile in here is down there under the hole 
now, yeah? You can see his head. There's also a nice uh, hot spring down there. If you want to have a bit of a warm up or a cool off in the afternoon, depends how you go. But yeah, really nice down there. And then uh, that's just where you cross to go up into the campground over that side. So pretty close. It's within walking distance of the campground. So yeah, good stuff. So the good thing about this campsite is you can pretty much just choose wherever you want to go. They've got like 40 acres worth of campsite. I think it's 40 or something like that. It's massive. And you can just choose wherever you want to go. Um, there's a couple of water hookups from the spring. Um, we've just been using them to do a bit of washing. Um, probably wouldn't drink it, but anyway. How cool is that? So you can just set up wherever you want. There's a bit of a creek down here. Nothing major. But yeah, we pretty much just picked a good spot. And this is our base for a while. Such a good idea. Good morning. Good morning. What's on the itinerary today, Dad? We are driving through some incredibly beautiful terrain. Where are we going, Dad? We're going to Gateway Falls. No, we're not. Oh, Gateway not. Gorge. <laughs> Who might, writes the itinerary, Dad? There might be a fall in there somewhere. I'll probably fall over. <laughs> Alright, so we're off to Gateway Gorge today. Um, we're hoping there's some kind of news there, because there's meant to be. And we're hoping to do a little bit of a canoe down the gorge. Um, if there's only one canoe, that could cause an issue. You're getting um, seriously overloaded. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But yeah, it's supposed to be pretty beautiful out here. There's some waterfalls, there's teardrop falls. Um, what else, Asta? That's it. There's like teardrops. Yeah, there's another one. There's another one called something. Anyway, um, yeah, there's a couple of things to check out down this way anyway. So we're going to come down here and then we're going to head up to Nanny's Retreat after lunch. So we've got a couple of things to do. Um, and then that's going to wrap up our little day trips out into Laurel Springs. So still plenty that we didn't see. Yeah, there's lots we didn't see, but oh well. Next you can only time. do what you can do. So anyway, off to Gateway Gorge. So we have found the start to Gateway Gorge um, and the canoe. In a canoe. We're going to paddle up in a canoe. There's only one, but it's really big, so yeah. it should be alright. And it's red. A big red canoe. <laughs> so salties love red. <laughs> there's no salties in this, there's only freshies. Yeah. So it's just kind of a little river crossing here. You can just see the canoe there ready to go. So we're going to jump in here and we're going to paddle up the gorge. And we're going to see what we can find. And yeah, paddles. hopefully he's not paddling though, because I don't think we'll go too far. Don't know if you trust him to paddle. No. I Look at that. How cool is that? Nice big canoe. It's going to be awesome. You ready, Dad? Ready as I'll ever be. Alrighty, let's, let's go. do it. All right, how about you kids? Two boys sit up the front. And that's me. Astor and I'll sit in the middle, and Daddy will sit at the back. Or is that, do you want a heavier one at the front? No, it's fine. Alright then. I'll steer this ship. 
quit bugger day. You just say ship, didn't you? Ship, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's All right, do it. Happy about All right, let's go. All right, well, we are in the canoe and it is really cool. It's hard to get in at first because we'll just get stuck on rock. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little bit, um, took a little bit, but we got going. We're a little bit back heavy, but that's all right. <laughs> um, so, like, I was just saying to Mark, this is a really cool thing that they offer because for us to hire a canoe or a couple of kayaks or something, it'll probably cost us around 300 bucks, right. maybe even more. So to be able to do this, just a free canoe and it's in good condition, it's, you know, there's no looks, water coming in. So looks reliable. <laughs> um, it's actually a really cool thing to be able to actually experience this. I'm gonna be and they've got a fair few as well. They've got some I'm boats, I'm like some, yeah. just tinnies that, you know, like have got paddles in them as well that you can go in some of the billabongs and go out and have a bit of an explore, a bit of a fish if you want. Yeah. Very cool. So it's really cool that they offer that. That's, you know, for families, that's really good. It makes it, um, you know, more affordable activities. So that's very cool. So we're just going to paddle down here and enjoy this because this is beautiful. I think as you get further down, we're going to get into the gorge and into the rock faces and things. I think, so. I think the rapids are further ahead, aren't they? Yeah, we've got to go down the big waterfall still. Oh, we're going down the big waterfall. Anyway, let's just sit back and enjoy this beautiful scenery. So we have come to a dead end, but Dad's going to he's chuck the drone up to see if there's any more, because it's just stopped at that sand. So it's about, right there. and then we're going to say a K away. <laughs> That's a bit of a distance, and is it that the proper gorge bit now, is it? Yeah, yeah, have a look. Alright, so we've paddled to the end of this part of the gorge, um, but because we're like fairly late, I guess, in the um, dry season, we're getting towards, or well, towards the middle of the dry season, I guess. They didn't have a big wet. Um, and they didn't have a big wet. It actually stops here. You can't get through. And Mark's just thrown the drone up and it's about a kilometre till you get to the next part where um, there's water again going through the gorge. So we're not going to carry the canoe all that way. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go paddle back to the car. And I believe there's a few lookouts up there. So we can go up to lookouts and we can check out from there what's what it looks like. A uh, bit of exercise for the morning. Yeah. Got the guns pumping. Nice to have a little paddle. A bit of blood flowing. There's yeah. some beautiful rock wall oh, up there that you would see from the car, so yeah. that's good. that was really pretty. Yeah. So yeah, we'll paddle back and we'll keep going along our drive and have a look at the lookouts and see what else we can see. Sounds good. Yep. Spot on.
Alrighty, so we've made our way up to the lookout. It was a little bit of a hill climb, a bit of four-wheel driving, which was a bit of fun. Um, and just wandering out here through this little pathway. And hopefully we're gonna look all the way down to the gorge. It looks beautiful already. You can see the gorge walls. I think it should be quite pretty. So we're at Hanging Gardens. One of the things we found is that you get to these car parks and there is, you just have no idea where you actually have to walk. There's no signage or anything like that. There's no so. signs. It's a bit annoying actually. That's probably a recommendation for them. And the tracks aren't, I mean, you can just sort of see where the track is. Yeah, here, but, but you can see there's a track there. There's a track going up a mountain over here. There's a track going up a mountain over here. So you kind of just got to guess. Um, and I guess that's okay if you're out here to explore and you just want to keep on wandering and find new things, but it's a little bit difficult, especially when you've got young kids. You can't just take every track and hope for the best. So anyway, there's one here that goes sort of into a gorgy bit. So we're going to give that a go. See how that goes. What a fairy. Probably not allowed to say that actually. Well, I actually looks like a fairy. <laughs> All right, well this spot would be absolutely gorgeous earlier in the season. Yeah. So it's kind of like a massive waterfall coming down into one little plunge pool and then into another. So it would be a really beautiful spot. Like it's even beautiful now with all the ferns growing on the walls and the like the rock, the rock formations here. It's really pretty. Hmm. And just an easy walk because it's about 200 metres from the car park. And Gorgeous. so nice pretty leaves. Yeah, lots of pretty leaves. <laughs> car park's just up here, so it's really easy access. It's not like it's a great big long walk Hi. to get here or anything. It's beautiful. Blacktop. We've been 
traveling oh, what about 450 to 500 k's worth of dirt road over the last I don't know, week or two. Yeah. Um, yeah. So now we're heading out to Boralula to get some fuel and then keep our keep heading on the Savannah Way. Cool. I was. I was waiting for good songs to start. Your butt. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 